What is going on, Trash Talkers? We have some breaking news in the NFL. Wide receiver Josh Gordon has been reinstated and can rejoin his teammates in Seattle. The Seahawks wide receiver has been conditionally reinstated by Roger Goodell from the commissioner's exempt list. Uh, Gordon will be forced to set out until Seattle's Week 16 matchup with the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, He can start getting COVID-19 tested this Friday, December 4th, 2020, uh, and then he can attend attend team meetings from there as well as uh, team workouts and it within the facility, but he is barred from practicing and attending games until that week 16 arrives. Uh, this is huge news for the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, DK Metcalf, you have Tyler Lockett, you have Josh Gordon and David Moore on top of Russell Wilson. Chris Carson's finally getting healthy. Carlos Hyde looked great. I mean, could the Seahawks be arguably the best team in the NFC right now? I, I think that's a, a stretch. I still think that there are better teams. I, I, I think that the, the Saints are a better team in the conference. Um, I, I I think that this solidifies them as champions in their division. I think they solidified that last weekend with their win and the Cardinals losing and the Rams losing. But this is a huge win. I mean, the, this offense has been struggling the last few weeks and... Russ doesn't seem to be all there. And, you know, that could be due to Chris Carson not being back. And then last week, Chris Carson was kind of splitting reps with Carlos Hyde. As the offense starts to come back together, get back in place, now you add a weapon like Josh Gordon. Uh, I mean, that they Russell Wilson was just asking for Antonio Brown once he was reinstated. So now you get Josh Gordon back, who is still a deep threat. He can definitely burn a lot of, say, a lot of defensive backs in the NFL. He's going to add a level of depth to this team that's extremely necessary going into these playoffs against defenses like uh, New Orleans. And I think where this is really going to play a significant role is with Tyler Lockett. This now allows Tyler Lockett to move back inside and play the slot role where he is a much better route runner than anybody else on that team. And he's going to be against the number three corner on the defense. So it's going to open up a wide array of opportunities for Tyler Lockett to get open and get the the short dink and dunk throws from Russell Wilson. This is exactly what you need. And then that's also going to help DK and Josh Gordon open up the -the over-the-top throws. This is is a deadly trio they have going, let alone you have Russ at the helm with Chris Carson offsetting with the run plays. This team is solid. This team is a huge Super Bowl contender right now. Yeah, for sure. I I, I think that the the Seahawks have built themselves into uh, quite the uh, quite the offensive juggernaut. Uh, you know, kind of offsetting what they how they got to the Super Bowl a couple of years ago when they faced off against the Broncos and the Patriots in subsequent years. Uh, now they have the offense that can handle a lot of the burden, and they put the the onus on Russell Wilson. Giving him another weapon like Josh Gordon is just going to increase that ability. Uh, if for those of you who are in deep fantasy leagues looking to either make the playoffs or if you're in the playoffs and you're looking to get some sort of uh, a boost, Josh Gordon is most likely available. If Tyler Lockett is somehow available, definitely go pick him up. Uh, I think this is going to definitely hurt the uh, DK Metcalf, uh, you know, production right. with Russell Wilson. I, I think I think uh, one thing we also want to consider, this is week 16. He He's not able to come back until then. That leaves two games in the regular season that he's able to play before they hit the playoffs. If the Saints win out, it looks like they will end up with the only bye week in the playoffs as the number one seed, which means Seattle would have to play every single week of the playoffs. So, they're going to use those two weeks to slowly get Josh Gordon into this lineup, into the offense, get him reacclimated with Russell Wilson. They're going to want to get on the same page. We see how much of a struggle it is with Antonio Brown and Tom Brady right now after playing last season. Yeah, I think that this is going to take some time. So I wouldn't fully rely on Josh Gordon, especially if you're in your championship weeks of fantasy football. But going into the playoffs, the Seattle Seahawks are going to be a much stronger team than initially anticipated. And don't forget that Josh Gordon did play for the Seahawks last year before his his suspension that he's now coming back from. Uh, So take a look at some of that 
You add on the the growth that DK Metcalf has gone through, the reliability of Tyler Lockett, and the uh, you know the added uh, oomph of Chris Carson coming back from his uh, mild foot sprain or whatever they want to call it. Um, <laughs> get this team getting healthy getting right right before the playoffs is going to be very interesting for the nfc for sure absolutely the rest of the nfc is going to have to watch out new orleans doesn't have such a uh, an easy road to the super bowl anymore things are interesting and it's looking pretty pretty good right now a lot of competitive football headed our way if you had to place Seattle in a in like if we're ranking them not just by their records but where they stand right now would they be in the top two I think absolutely I think that so you're taking them over Green Bay or New Orleans yeah no I'm taking them over Green Bay I think that Green Bay they just don't have the weapons on offense their defense has the run game has not been stopped uh that run defense is, is truly atrocious for the Green Bay Packers there's a lot more holes on the Packers than either the Seattle Seahawks or the New Orleans Saints. The Saints are by far the strongest team, not only in, in the NFC, in the NFL. I think that their their high-powered offense, once Russell, uh, when, sorry, excuse me, once Drew Brees comes back, they'll be fine, and that, that defense is stronger than ever. I think that they are the team to beat, but Seattle definitely could do it now that they have Josh Gordon. Definitely some uh, great games to look forward to, some great playoff matchups to look forward to. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to all of this uh, unfolding before our eyes. We have just a few more weeks until the NFL playoffs are started and we are in the thick of it. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you want any more information, breaking news around the NBA, NFL. We're going to be uh, breaking it as soon as it comes out. We will have these videos re- ready, readily available for you. And uh, make sure to tune in and uh, we will catch you later.